Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3243, which is a hard level where we have 18 moves only to clear out 48 jelly. We can tell it's hard because we've got the skull and the purple, but I was playing this a couple of days ago and was not making very much progress, so I can tell by experience, and if you're here watching this, probably you feel the same. So we have to try to figure out a way through this, and I do think that we are going to require quite a bit of luck, but I also think that if we believe that only luck will get us there, we'll just start playing poorly and we won't be able to capitalize on that luck when it shows up. So the first thing I see is that I can actually match some of these together. If I get a head start on this, then when I send out fish to these bobbers, they won't have to go so much over to this isolated area. And that's what I'm going to have to do is send fish to these bobbers. I have to concentrate on what I can do to get to this area because there's jelly under this chocolate. And so I've got to reach it in some way, figure out how to get all of it gone. I believe it's going to require some uh, special combos, some really powerful special combos. So look, if I can set up the blue to try to get a color bomb, well, that would be one way to start by making the very best plays on the board as possible. I could make a stripe here, but it would end up lower than the bobber. I could make a stripe here and it might help with this and it's lined up for the bobber. But I think what I'm going to do, nope, I am. I'm going to do this because it's also going to set up the blue for me. There we go. So now I've got this nice combo. I don't have as much orange on the board as I would like. I'm going to tempt fate just a bit, but not too much. I don't want to really mess this up. So here we go, we're sending out the orange. The nice thing about this board is the chocolate has nowhere to grow. So that's one advantage. Now I talked about combos. In order to get this really going, I'm gonna need some wrapped striped combos probably. How do I get wrapped striped? Well, what if, <laughs> I just blew up a lot of stuff pretty but not helpful. Although it did clear this out so that when the fish have somewhere to go, they know where to go. But yeah, this is just going to be me experimenting with how in the world can I make the best opportunity of this. See, if I had been able to get that stripe draft combo, that might have helped me out immensely. Although at this point in time, I think I really am going to need probably three of those on the board to get this done. That's where the luck is going to come into play. So not very close here. Let me now pause the recording and I'll come back. And the next level I show you is either going to have something instructive about it, where I've learned uh, a strategy that's working well or a pitfall to avoid, or I got close so I'm showing you how, the mechanics of how it can be done. Or of course, if I show you the win, I think that's instructive too. So I will pause the recording and meet you back here in just a bit. Okay, so let's see what we can do with all this. Now that I've got an orange on the board, maybe I can take out the other orange so I can try to pair this up. There we go, we got that going. Opening all this, the fish are doing their job. So now there's no chocolate on the board, which is nice. Now I can reach to the jelly, which are still double thick, so still a lot of work to be done. Let's take out more stuff here. I've got my wrapped. How can I set a stripe with it? Well, if I make this stripe, then the, the green takes off. I'm going to take out the double thick stuff here. Maybe move some of this green out of the way. Actually, let's get that green together and see if we can drop something else into position. See, too much green would have been volatile volatile on the board. But look at this. This is a significant way to hit lots of these bobbers and clear out some stuff on my own. But notice there was a lot of double thick stuff. So now I still have so much more that needs to be accomplished. I could try to get a color bomb by dropping a blue in there, but I actually prefer going with a... Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is what I need. Normally I want a color bomb. I don't know what I was going to prefer going for. I'm too <laughs> excited because I think that this is going to solve it. Um, 
I like a color bomb striped candy combo. I get a wrapped here, but this is the perfect opportunity to get a wrapped because I did that work in the beginning and now this is cleared out and there is an abundance of purple here plus there's purple here. This purple is likely to drop, but remember all of this purple is going to be sending out wrapped or uh, sorry, uh, fish from these bobbers. So this should do the trick, right? Unless the fish are completely stupid and thankfully they were smart enough to go right where I needed them to. So that's the kind of thing you need to have happen on this board. All along I thought if I get three striped wrapped combos or if I get uh, one striped wrapped combo to clear most of this out and then a, a color bomb wrapped combo, that would probably be best. It's hard to do. That was only my 12th playthrough, but remember, a lot can happen in the very beginning or after a long time. The trick is to always be thinking about the moves that are possible to help you win so that when luck strikes you can take advantage of it. If this was helpful I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments please put those below and as always thank you so much for watching.